It's been over a month now when they're still holding hostages, one of which is Carmi's age, one of which is even younger than Carmi. Ciao, ciao. Welcome back to Jess Brain. Look, guys, sometimes I'm gonna point the microphone and the camera at the vent or at funny things so that we can all laugh at Brandon's symbolic pain. And other times, like right now, I'm gonna ask that you just kind of sit with me in a moment to talk about something that has to do with people's real pain. A lifetime ago, I was living in Rome, Italy and working and interning at the United Nations World Food Program in their media and communications department. The World Food Program is an organization that I hold so dear to my heart, not just because of who they are and what they do, they are the world's largest humanitarian organization working in the toughest, hungriest places to save and change lives by delivering food to people in emergencies. But also because of what it helped me see at a time in my life when I was fairly self-involved and I don't know that I would have been exposed to what I was exposed to in the world at that time and at that place. I was learning how to edit and manage media while working on some of the most horrific images I had ever seen, real life nightmares coming out of the Congo or natural disaster after natural disaster. And the teams that I worked with at WFP at that time, still to this day, are some of the best in the industry. And whenever something atrocious happens anywhere in the world, oftentimes that team that I worked with at WFP are the first people that I'm thinking of because I know that what they're looking at through the lens of their camera and getting out there into the world, packaging to news releases and all these things so that the main media outlets can get these images, I know that what they're seeing through those lenses is way worse than what I'm seeing on my phone as I'm scrolling. And that is bad. So over a month ago on October 7th, after I had put Carmi to bed, it was late at night here in Denver, I started seeing some of the news notifications of the horrifying surprise attack that led to many of the hostages. And in the following days, what continued to unfold was horrifying. It's been over a month now. It seems like it's getting worse. When they're still holding hostages, and one of which is Carmi's age, one of which is even younger than Carmi, when they're still bombing hospitals, bombing maternity wards, delivery units, cutting off power and generators to hospital, leaving newborn babies and in incubators to die, when all of that is still happening, it's time to do something because I know this last month I've seen things that I cannot unsee. I see them now when I go to sleep, when I rest my head next to Carmi's, and I'm trying to separate. I do a really good job compartmentalizing. I have to keep like my, my mental state positive so that I can focus on Carmi positively. But wow, the last few weeks, it has really just seems like it's getting worse over there and the response seems like it should be a lot more. I did not plan on making this video tonight. Brandon is downstairs. The Broncos are currently playing the Jets. I'm surprised the vent hasn't actually caught him screaming yet, but I wanted to come on here and make two requests. The first request is to please consider donating anything, $1, $5 to the World Food Program. Oftentimes they are the first or only organization on the ground with ready to eat meals for starving children, women, families, orphans. Now that this channel is monetized, any cent or dollar that this video is gonna see is gonna go directly to the World Food Program. And I would love, I would really encourage anyone out there, if you can, if you have a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, please consider giving it to the World Food Program. The second request I have for you is to go into your app store and download the Five Calls app. This is incredibly easy and we're gonna do it together now. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go in. I wouldn't be on here talking about this if it wasn't weighing on me so heavily. And I did not really plan on filming this video tonight, but I started writing out some thoughts earlier and I know that more of you guys sometimes watch the videos around football games, so I'm I'm hoping this will catch a little traction and um, I can't even imagine. Mommy, can you get me more chips? <laughs> yeah, I will get you more chips. I can't even imagine not having that little <laughs> voice, my little sidekick, um, safe and sound. And I know that probably a lot of you are fathers or will be fathers one day. And I also want to reach out to you guys and say like, this is not just a crisis that women should be paying attention to. We should all be very concerned for the level of humanity, the lack of humanity that is happening. The link to donate to the World Food Program is gonna be pinned at the comment um, at the top of this. It'll be in my description. The link to download the Five Calls app will also be down there. Follow me on Instagram, keep up with me on Twitter. I really appreciate everyone being so welcoming.